So when we talk about people being restricted, Ashraf and Francisco, what, why are people restricted? How, how does that work? Um, just kind of simply, Francisco? I think the, um, oh, I'm not quite sure what the history of the moratorium mm -hmm. is, but it's basically a way of the Australian government, I guess, to, to direct um, overseas trained doctors to areas where there's a shortage of doctors so they would like us to work in areas where there's just not enough doctors and that tends to be more the um, outer metropolitan rural or very rural areas. Um, we are restricted generally for a period of 10 years and that starts from when, when you first register with APRAM that is not necessarily the time you're working. So some people register here, go back to their home countries for a few years and all of that time keeps ticking. Or if you are on maternity leave for a year or so, all of that counts towards your 10 years as well. Um, as Ashraf said, you can shorten that time if you work in very rural areas. There's something like a five years rural program which Seshu mentioned in our last um, webinar and then there's scaling depending how how rural you work and then there are a few restrictions which may enable you to work in a less rural area the other thing to remember is that those the map that Anthony was just showing um, changes every year. Every year in July, they re-look at which areas have a shortage of GPs and where do they need GPs. And you've seen on there that some of the areas have small pockets of, let's say, very close to the Melbourne CBD where there's a shortage, but that might change in July. Absolutely. Um, but if you are working somewhere, you don't have to leave. <laughs> Just important to know if, if you've you been here. Area, from... <laughs> you can stay there, even if it then becomes a blue area and you wouldn't be able to. <laughs>